We're off on a unique kind of test in the world's fastest small car, and it's British. With Paris taken in its stride, it's well on its way to Val d'Isère, French skiing resort on the Italian border. Object of the test is to get there in two days from England. As they're also carrying a cup for presentation to the winners of the current skiing contest, everything has to go to schedule. But the best of cars won't go without petrol. Her tanks take 11 gallons. With her smart appearance and low rakish bonnet, she incorporates many new features. In the last 27 years, Britain has gained almost every international honour in this class. Such difficult stretches as these are a growing test for both car and driver, and only confidence in both makes it possible to combine safety with speed. Anyway, she's made it. The first part of our test successfully concluded, we can take a breather and watch the skiing. This is the way we like it. No effort, no trouble, just take it easy and not too fast. And this way is even better. Devaluation has made it difficult for British people to take advantage of Swiss skiing facilities. And so this French resort, only 40 miles from Chamonix, is increasingly popular. Even more so if you can get there and back by road in a few days. Now they're well away. Speed attained by skiers on slopes like these is anything between 60 and 70 miles an hour. It's a test of cool nerve, keen eye, flexible muscles, but in the sparkling air and glorious sunshine, life is fun and everything effortless, provided you can ski, of course. It's a hard contest and the standard's high. It's fast and furious, but so was the car. For your information, she did the return journey 631 miles from Val d'Isère to Dunkirk in one day. Fastest time, 108 miles in 105 minutes. In the meantime, lady, it's your cup. <laughs> <laughs>